Okay, we're going to show you how to hook up the uh, fiber optics uh, for the iTronic device. And first of all, we're just kind of showing you here this radio plugged into the back of the radio. Most people will probably use the actual M-CD changer in, uh, connection instead. In the back of every radio is one of these connectors that you can squeeze and unplug. They even plug from the back of the radio, back of the CD changer. Uh, in most of the E classes, S classes with the in-dash CD changer, the plug is actually uh, just below the CD changer. You would see it something like this in the car. You also need the harness that comes with the iTronic device. And the first thing that you need to do is remove the fiber optics which I'm holding here in my hand. There's a little tab that you can just push to the right and the fibers will slide directly out, little fiber holder. We'll set the factory harness to the side. The next thing you're going to want to notice is on the top of this connector there are arrows pointing. One is pointing this direction, pointing away from the fibers, and one is pointing towards the fibers. There's an in and an out. But before you can release the fibers, you're going to release one fiber from this, you have to remove this little blue plastic retaining block. Just push it like so. Just push it back. You can remove it completely or just push it out of the way. The next thing that you'll want to do is actually remove a fiber. To do that, there's a little plastic retainer here. You don't want to break it off. You just want to pry it up just a little bit so you can slide the fiber out. And you just pry it up slightly and the fiber will slide right out. Now, you'll notice I've chosen to slide out the one with the arrow pointing down the fiber. That's the output side of the device. You would use this on nearly all installations. The only time that you would not use this is if you have a direct connection to the radio. There's no other devices on the network such as Teleaid, a CD changer, uh, basically if you had a, a bare bones electronics car and you didn't have any other devices you would use the other side. But for most installations, you're going to use this side. Okay, you're going to take this bare connection that's already in the car. Now you're going to have the fiber connection, the harness that came with the iTronic. You'll notice on this connection, there is an inline connector, what's called an inline connector, already mounted to the output side of the iTronic. You're going to take this connection, insert it in until it clicks, hear it click, and then snap it shut. Okay. If you had to take it back apart, you made a mistake or anything like that, you can just insert a screwdriver in this point right here and take this apart just and do just like you did here and pry the little fiber piece out. Then you're going to take the connection from the iTronic harness, the other one that that's, uh, has nothing on the end of it, you're going to insert it back into the factory plug. Push it until it clicks, push the little blue retainer back until it's done, then you're going to put it back into the factory's harness assembly. You can't put it in upside down like this, it's keyed, it'll only go one way so you don't have to worry about it. Push it in until it clicks, and you're done. Now you're just going to plug this back into the back of the CD changer or radio. You're going to plug the other one into the uh, iTronic after you've hooked up the power and everything, and you're done. That's all there is to it.